What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Cesar, and we are talking about, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 different cryptos and Grayscale Trust and stocks today. Um, we're going to mix it all together. This is the leftover videos from last night's live stream. The leftover requests, sorry, not leftover videos. Uh, these were the, the requests that I was unable to get to, so I'm going to run through it right now. Real quick, I'll leave a list in the description of all the things that we're going over, and I will say it out loud verbally. So hit the like button, subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Sorry I couldn't get to everyone's request last night, but we're getting to them now. So ABT, Pepe, File G, XRP, Rack Off, CRCW, LTC, VRA, HBAR, Wolf, Marathon, LTCN, CASPA, and Mr. Miggles. That's the list. That's the order. I'm going to bl uh, blow through these really quickly. Hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. Let's get started. I will leave timestamps in the description as well. Um, anyways, Arc Block. Arc Block having a hell of a time to the downside right now. This is what they might call a blow off top from a low to a high. It wouldn't surprise me at all if you went to about 92 cents. You're at a dollar 31 now. So you broke through your 236. I think it's very clear, very obvious that you have with last week's close. Um, you know, and with the rejection so far off of yesterday, yeah, found support, support, and then found resistance. That's a clear rejection, at least as of this moment. Let's see how today closes. Short of a miracle happening today, where you flip today green, um, move up over 20% to do that, and then continue to break above this 236. Short of that happening, uh, I don't think there's much stopping you from going down to about 92, 90 cents itself. You're at a dollar 30 now, so lower, lower is where you're going to go. Uh, Pepe is the next one. Pepe USD on crypto. Sure, we'll just do crypto. Pepe also looking like it wants to go down, and that makes sense to me. You know, Pepe is one of the big dogs. It's one of the big uh, meme coins. Dogecoin's being boring. Shiba's being boring, and those ones are, I think, more relevant. Maybe not this cycle. I feel like Pepe is the more relevant one, but perhaps until those ones start to do well, Pepe might also chill. Pepe 2 might be going to its 382 area. And I like that 382 area because that is around the area that you found support. It's also around this area that you found resistance here. So going down to about one, two, three, four, five zeros, four, eight, two, six, nine. Where you at five zero seven now. Sounds about right to me. That's probably where you're gonna go. Um, weekly RSI looks terrible. Weekly MACD doesn't look the best either. It looks like it'd want to go down. Breaking below the 236 if you were to close here or lower on the daily. Daily MACD looking like it's crossing below the zero. Yes, looking bad. You're in the oversold zone on your RSI. Yeah, lower to go. <clears throat> if you go up at all, you'd probably go up to 507828 and then find resistance there and, and then move down. So lower. Um, yeah, everything is saying lower. You do have bullish divergence on your RSI, your four hour RSI, but. Uh, at the same time, I think it's false. I think it's actually hidden bearish divergence, and it's just pushing you to go down lower. So anybody and everybody who's been wrongly assuming this to be bullish divergence, um, in 41 minutes, you will definitely have the nail in the coffin that will prove you wrong and send you send you down to that five zeros four seven eight two six nine zone or wh whatever it was. Anyways, that's Pepe down. I think it's obvious that a lot of these are probably going to go down, right? File G, I can only imagine what File G is going to do, man. Let's look at Filecoin, actually. Come on now, why didn't it go? Filecoin. What a dump, what a dump. 10%, that's actually not bad compared to a lot of cryptos today. What's Bitcoin doing? What's, what's Bitcoin's move? Come on now. 6% today. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's not bad compared to Bitcoin, especially compared to a lot of other cryptos. This overall moves bad um, from a low to a high. I would expect Filecoin does continue to move down about to 292. You're at 315 now. So 292, File G. File G is probably going to drop off a cliff too tomorrow. Um, let's see. Low to high. We'll see you down at $23.12. You're at $36 now. Yeah, probably. You do have bullish divergence presenting itself, uh, but I don't think it is. I actually, I think you're going lower. I feel pretty comfortable in that. Yeah, I think so. Yep, yep, yep. Lower you go, file G. All right, let's see. 
Next one is XRP. Oh, I meant to talk about this yesterday. I really wanted to talk about this one yesterday. Um, dumped a little bit, 9.6% down today. It's at 47.2 cents. Looking like a nice area to buy, actually. I actually do like XRP as a good good buy here. Um, it could go lower, of course it could. But hey man, you're right at your 618, you've already interacted with it, you're kind of holding it as of now. It's It's too early to say that you're holding it to be completely fair. I don't mind it though. I don't mind it. I don't know. Um, if it goes lower, I doubt it goes too much lower. The lowest I would give it, it's at 47.2 cents. The lowest I would give it is 40 and a half cents, but 44.8 cents, 46.5 cents, that might be the lowest you got, man. XRP is looking good. Um, and if, if I'm correct in assuming that you're at or near your low, you might be looking more for that 52 and a half cent area um, rather than the other options over the coming days, but who knows? Two, three, four, five, six days down in a row. Rack off. Somebody requested rack off. I wrote it down just as they requested it last night. Maybe, maybe it's a joke. I don't know. Oh, rack off token. Market cap thirty six. Volume uh, one point four thousand. Probably stay away from this one, guys. I would I would stay away from it. Don't rack off with this one. It's uh, definitely not a good one to do that with. Yeah, I don't I don't like it at all. It's it's just too low of a market. I mean, like too low liquidity, too low of a market cap. Stay away from it. I don't even feel like doing TAs proper on this thing. It's probably just going to systematically work its way down, right? You might have moments like this where it wicks and stuff like that, but you won't be able to buy it down there. It's not there's not enough volume or liquidity for you to to get it in at these prices, right? They'll, they'll just be like quick down and up like in the blink of an eye literally so stay away from this one um that's probably the best advice that i could give crcw is the next one the crypto company <clears throat> wow oh, wow you know your weekly macd is coming up to that zero line actually it's kind of a promising prospect potentially right you've never been above the zero line hey look at you but maybe you're maybe you've got some kind of asymptotic behavior where where you don't actually cross this area and you just continue to go sideways forever and then move down who knows um, that wouldn't be asymptotic if you actually move down but but it just kind of looks like that just like this if, if you don't know what asymptotic behavior is don't don't even worry about it you can type it up if you want to but it's not it just looks like that that's all um uh if you don't know what that is, you've just probably never taken calculus, and that's okay. That's totally fine. Um, let's see. From a low point to a high point. I would think you go lower. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you don't. I would think you do. I would think you go lower. Probably down to about three zeros nine. You're at two zeros one two right now. Yeah, lower. I feel comfortable saying that, but who knows? This thing just seems so weird. I, I think it's going lower. I don't think you see new lows, but I definitely do think it's going lower. Um, yeah, yeah. Anyways, CRCW. Um, let's look at Litecoin, and we'll actually tie in LTCN on this. Um, because, or maybe I'll just stick it, I'll, I'll keep it at the order. LTCN's, never mind, I'm gonna do LTCN. It's gonna be third from the last, as I said, because in the beginning of the video, I said it was gonna be in that order, so we'll keep it there, but we'll just keep this fresh in our minds for the LTCN analysis. Um, bullish divergence presenting itself on the weekly, not confirmed until we close the week in about seven days, so hard to say. Um, not bullish divergence on the weekly MACD, but we definitely have a little bit of time to still close this week red below this low giving the RSI that bullish divergence and then also coming up a little bit more to give that MACD some bullish divergence too perhaps or perhaps you don't bottom with bullish divergence who knows but you're at $56 right now low to high the lowest I'd give you is probably like $50.46 I mean I suppose you can move down to $45.5 as well but I think $50.46 is, is where you're going to go um if not, maybe you found your low at these current areas as possible.
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven days down in a row. This could be your last day down, man. This could be a nice little double bottom kind of area. It just depends. But if you go lower, it wouldn't surprise me. If you found support here, it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, it would definitely be nice if today moved up a little bit more. You had like a more predominant wick on the day versus a body. Um, or tomorrow, you know, just move up as well. But moving up soon doesn't mean that you're absolved of going lower. It would just help with the idea that you don't, you know, see any crazy price action, like see some new lows, new cycle lows. Um, and I don't think you will. I don't think you'll see new, new cycle lows, but I would like to see this thing get above, let's see. Yeah, I mean, I really, I'd like to see it get above $77. That's that's kind of the goal at this point. You're at 55.7, so it's a little bit of a ways away, but that's that's the current goal. If you want something more for the short term, I suppose we can say $72, but 77 is pretty close to that as well. So um, you're a ways away from being comfortable, but I have a feeling you're, you're very close to your low. I would actually kind of like to pair this with my Bitcoin analysis bit. Bitcoin cash analysis video that I just did um, saying that, you know, maybe from a price point, you're not close to your low, but from a time point you are. And you could be close to your low on a price point as well. Maybe you've already found it, but timing wise, I would assume that that it's only going to uh, be able to keep up with this pace to the downside for, for only so long. Seven days red in a row with not really a whole lot of volume. It's about average volume, but it's not like crazy volume. Um, to be fair, they're not really crazy moves either. Time-wise, I think you're very close to your low. Price-wise, you could go lower, but still be fine. So, um, And also, again, just to be completely fair, I'm, I'm rather neutral. You could This very well could be your low as well. Um, I just don't know how to feel about it. So we're going to wait for more results before we really get a verdict in there. But this is kind of a crazy day. It really wouldn't surprise me, man. Today could flip green like it could it could all get eaten up or maybe it closes with just like a nice sizable wick you're still red but a nice sizable wick this could also just be the beginning man who knows we could be down we could be down a lot by the end of today but but time will tell anyways that's ltc um vra essentially i just don't know man i don't know how to feel about that one i don't know how to feel about most of the market right now um other than i wish i had more cash to buy that's like my most genuine feeling vra probably does go down lower probably from a low to a high. I don't know. Oh, right there at the 1618. Maybe not, man. Maybe that's it. Maybe you close this week lower than you are now, but that's a nice that's a nice little wick down to your 1618. I don't know. Hmm. Yeah, I don't mind it. I don't know. That might that might be its low. I actually like that a lot for VRA. Um, let's see. Yeah, I suppose I'd want to take that. Let's just hope you don't go down to point zero zero two one four six five, right? If you do, you better hold that area. But if you don't hold that area, you're going down to point zero zero one two four. You're at 0 0.00242 right now, so hopefully you have found your low. There's not a lot suggesting that you have, but it could have been the area, man. This could this could be a huge like kind of capitulative event for for crypto right now, uh, but time will tell. Time will definitely tell. I wonder what the fear and greed index is going to read tomorrow because this this was put up before this drop happened today, before the drop uh, from 58 point. Sorry. The let's see the open was 58.1k down to a low of 52.4k. This this is put up before then, so I wonder what the fear and greed index will read. Um, again, short of a major reversal, a massive reversal, which days like this are perfect for that. Um, you know, we probably get that fear. Bitcoin itself actually looks like it 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 could come back up. When you get these crosses, you normally do actually have a nice move back up to the cross. But will that be the low? Do we go lower? Do we turn things around right here? That remains to be seen. But anyways, um, back to back to VRA. Yeah, I feel pretty confident that, that it's at its low. It might go lower the rest of this week below its current price. Might hang out here, right? It might be stagnant, but uh, it, it could also see a nice massive like immediate reversal as well. It's hard to say, but I, I do feel comfortable that it's at its low. I feel comfortable saying that. VRA, 
Um, HBAR is the next one. Hedera hash graph on Binance. Let's see, from a high point here to a low point here. Tipped your 1618, broke back below your 618, found resistance at your 618 area, and now you're at your 236. That's a nice area for a low as well, um, actually. You do have some bullish divergence on your weekly MACD. You're at the areas on the weekly RSI where it would make sense to bounce and the daily. I, I'm going to step on a limb here and say HBAR's found its low as well, actually. Well, low here to a high here. 1618, I like it. Yeah, I like it a lot. Don't be discouraged if you go a little bit lower, but you're, you're either at your low or very, very close to your low. I feel pretty confident in that one. That's that's one that I'm more confident in right there. Uh, Wolf, Terra Wolf, on a weekly basis. Looking like it wants to turn around a little bit. Yes, probably with the, uh, the crypto markets taking a dive. I bet it does. They're not directly correlated, but I would assume this this slaughter over the weekend, unless we recover a lot by tomorrow, again, short of a miracle, which can happen. It's in moments like this that those kind of miracle pumps happen. <clears throat> but uh, sometimes it's moments like this that also are just the beginning of, of more of a, of a slaughter fest to the downside. Either way, I would think Wolf goes at least to $3.40. If not, it could work its way all the way back down to like two ninety two, two twenty seven. It's hard to say, but... Uh, 340 at least. I definitely do think it's going down more. Wolf. Um, and then in, inevitably up. I, I feel very confident that it will see new highs, but just for the time being down. Marathon. They call it Mara, but it's Marathon Digital Holdings. So like, why wouldn't it be Mara? Why is it Mara? Like I'll hear the people call it Mara that represent Marathon, but it's Marathon. It's not Marathon. It's Marathon. Why do you call it Mara? I get that you could say Mara because it's M-A-R-A, but you could also just say Mara, which would make, to me, that makes more sense. But enough of my, enough of my who cares what. Um, let's see here. Consolidating, consolidating. Dropping off a cliff a little bit from a low to a high, relatively speaking. You're at an area that would make sense to find support. Daily RSI and your MACD seem like they're in areas that you could find support as well. Um, if you were to go lower, you're at 1719, maybe go down to 1630, 1530 at the lowest, but I don't think that you'd go lower than this low over here. And you might open up low tomorrow. Again, short of a, uh, a miracle happening with Bitcoin. Oh, we just dropped $400 right there real quick. Uh, yep, we just did. But it, it was it was at like 54.4, I swear. And then I, I like talked about it and I saw it drop to 54. But unless it was at 54.14, but I swear. Oh, maybe maybe I didn't actually see that. No, it might have been at 50, 54.14. I might have been wrong there because it, it only moved down $100, $130, so never mind. Anyways, short of a miracle happening for Bitcoin over the next uh, 20 hours, or actually not even 20 hours, what would it be? It'd be like 10 hours over the next 10 hours or so before, before the uh, stock market opens tomorrow. I definitely would expect that this thing goes down, so that's Marathon. Um, LTCN, right? We've got our memory ingrained with Litecoin. Could be at its low, maybe it's not, but I wouldn't be surprised if it was, but I, I would definitely not be surprised if LTCN took a dump tomorrow, man. Uh, from a low point here to a high point there. I bet, I mean, you're at 15 bucks right now. We'll see you at 13 bucks. You might do that tomorrow. You literally might do that tomorrow. If not, that might be your goal for the week is to go down there. Um, it would be really crazy to see these grayscale trusts pump while the rest of the market is dumping. We've seen it happen before, but not not during times like this. I don't think it's ever happened during times like this, but uh, if it can go down while the uh, cryptos are going up, it's kind of crazy. It actually seems like these might be front running crypto right now because um, they were moving down before the underlying assets really started to move down. So anyways, LTCN looks not the best on the daily. I bet it does move lower. $13, $10 might be your ultimate destination. It's it's hard to say, but time will tell. Um, and it's it's really okay, you know, for anybody who's, and, and I would definitely say, because I know I have a lot of grayscale people that watch these videos. If you're watching this video now, um, I would say, don't even think about trying to play the game where, oh, I'll sell here and then I'll buy down here. Oh, I'll sell here and then I'll buy down here. Don't even think about it, man. Uh, it's not worth it. Not in my opinion. Not financial advice. Do your own thing. It, it could work out well for you. 
But if you sell here and it goes here, will you actually buy or will you wait for prices to go lower? And then if it rebounds up here, would you buy at higher prices? If so, that sucks. If not, what would it take, right? What would it take? Like, it's just, it's not worth it. If you've suffered through all of this, you're selling at the worst point. Don't do it. Don't do it. The only thing to do, it's not the time to sell, right? It's obvious. It's very clear. Even if we dump all the way down here below $10, which I don't think is going to happen, but it could. But even if we did that, it's not the right time to sell right here, right? The time to sell was back here, back here, and back here. Those are your three chances, right? Each one getting worse after the other. This one was an opportunity as well in hindsight, but really this whole this whole like last period of time has been just nothing but a prime opportunity. Yes, even at these highs, a prime opportunity to invest at dramatically lower prices from where the high was. So um, ultimately LTCN's got higher prices to go but for the time being, I do think it's going lower. I feel pretty confident that it is gonna go lower. CASPA. CASPA USD. Well, CASPA did exactly what I thought it would, which is it would go up just a little bit higher and then down. It actually didn't do exactly what I thought it would, uh, let's be fair. I did think it would go higher than it did from a high to a low, a relative high to low here. I was at least expecting 22 and a half cents. It only went up as high as 20.78 cents. You guys, CASPA might be, it might be done for the whole cycle. It might be, I might be wrong. I don't even know if that's wrong to say because it genuinely might be. I don't know if I would count on that, right? I would definitely count on it seeing higher prices, but I don't think that it'll see higher prices than like 42 cents. If it does, cool. Like anything after that, but but the genuine kind of message I'm trying to trying to deliver here is the next high that it has will likely be its last high, right? It'll that will be the end of its cycle. Its next move up, whenever it decides to have it, and maybe it moves down first, and then it comes back up later this year, the beginning of next year. But its next move up out of this consolidation phase, that will be its high, right? Unless this is it, this this really could be its high. My genuine opinion is that it has one more left in it, but it's not going to be. It's not going to be above a dollar. It won't even be above 50 cents if, if I'm right by the end of this, but time will tell. Looking at the weekly RSI, it definitely looks bad. Weekly MACD crossing down to the red. Anytime you've done that, you've had several weeks to the downside. Wouldn't surprise me with this fake out. Absolutely, that was a fake out. If you were to uh, go down from here a little bit more, down to like 13 cents, uh, 12.6 cents, something like that. You're at 15.5 cents now something to find like a relative higher low and then and then move up from there but this is caspa man it can move up at any any time it wants to but it probably moves down um, it probably does continue to move down yeah that's that's my best guess so <clears throat> right bouncing off the 40 area here on the rsi on this low bouncing off the uh, 50 area here and now you're actually in the oversold zone here i bet you have lower to go i absolutely do 13 cents 12.6 cents 11 cents even on the table now we're going to talk about mr miggles and be done with our video here i feel bad because i feel like i should have done separate videos for cas and ltcn but i didn't think about it until later in the video and i spent too much time to uh to just redo that stuff so 1.5 cents right now mr miggles moving down Yes, it could move down a lot lower. It's hard to say. There's not a lot of uh, historical data to go off of, but you are around your 886. So let's hope you get a bounce there at 1.375 cents. You're at 1.5.4 cent right now. So let's hope you move a little bit down, find support there, bounce off your 50, and then we can start moving up. <clears throat> There's not really a whole lot to go off of, though. It does look like it wants to go lower. It wouldn't be crazy at all if it saw new all-time lows. It really could, but... Will it see new all-time highs again? Maybe. You know, it's it's. I'm not saying it's condemned to death, but uh, it doesn't look good right now for what it, for what it's worth. It's a very insignificant amount of time that this chart's existed. You never know when something like this could happen, or something like the opposite could happen. Right? It could happen at any moment. So, nonetheless, I do think it moves down a little bit, and that's all I got to say. Um, tonight's winner, absolutely without a doubt, it's undeniable might be H bar because it's the only one that actually looks like it's at its low. Besides, I think VRA could be at its low as well. Um, 
XRP has a chance as well, but I think I think HBAR looks the best out of all of them. It would be the one that I would probably want to put my money in the most out of all these. So whoever requ requested HBAR last night, that, that win goes to you. Sorry, I can't. Maybe I shouldn't have even announced a winner. But anyways, guys, take care. Hit that like button. I'll see you on the next one. Hope everyone's faring well. Um, if you're having a hard time, you know, it's, it's hard. And if, if you are having a hard time, you've probably already clicked away from this video. But um, if this is your first time investing in crypto, this is very normal stuff, very, very normal stuff, right? There's always these moments and it's these moments right here that really separate the boys from the men, the girls from the ladies. Um, it's when you feel that like, like you got punched in your gut, right? Like you, you start to question reality almost, but the reality of it is you guys is that we're not even close to being done with this cycle. We've got a lot more to go. And in the words of Ivan on tech himself, Crypto is always pumpiest or dump. It's always the dumpiest right before it's the pumpiest. So we're pretty dumpy right now, man. It's only a good opportunity. That's all it is. You go through multiple cycles and you start to look at these moments uh, in the cycle for exactly what they are, which is just a golden opportunity to invest. It is certainly not the time to buy. And you know how to you know how to verify that without even like looking at the charts. You know how to verify that. Play a mental game with yourself. Pretend like you had all the money that you've invested in crypto right now, if it's down, if it's up, whatever, but pretend that you had all of it liquid right now in cash. Would you be putting on your bib, getting your fork and knife ready to eat at these prices? Or would you be like, man, I'm glad I'm not in crypto. I mean, like you'd be glad that you're not invested technically, but you'd, you'd probably look at these as opportunities, right? It's only because you're in it. It's only because you're seeing your actual numbers go down from what they were that the negative emotion is associated to it. But whenever you take a step back and you look at it from a different perspective, I feel like it's very obvious. And you look at the long term of things, you guys, it's a very, very obvious thing. I'm going to make a video separate of this as like a pep rally for people who are who are feeling down in crypto because you're not alone, man. You're not alone. I'm feeling down in crypto. Absolutely. I am. I'm, fe I'm, I'm feeling down. I wish I wish things were going up, you know, but um, you might not be able to tell because it's I'm, I'm feeling down for like how, how jacked I could be, but I'm definitely not feeling down compared to like how, how feeling down would have been in the first cycle. It's, uh, you know, days like this are absolutely rough, but you kind of learn to just brush it off. You learn to look away. And I mean, the only, the real reason I'm feeling down is because I don't have cash to put into this right now. I'm like, I'm already all in crypto and, uh, I wish I could put more into it, but you know, that's that's probably the worst part about this, because I'm not worried about where the market's going to go by the end of the cycle, man. We, we've still got plenty of time, plenty of time to make everything, everything and then some back um, over the coming like seven months, eight months to a year or so. Right. Like and I definitely think the market, the crypto market will go on for another year or so. But time will tell. Anyways, guys, I'm just droning on at this point. So hit that like button one, one last time and I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.